discovered around 8.30 last night at a home on Hart Street. Police were called in for a well-being check and found 52-year-old Lisa Heinsen dead. An autopsy identified it as a homicide this morning. News 18's Micah Upshaw is live outside of the home where Heinsen was found. Micah, what are neighbors saying about the homicide? Jordan, emotions range from shocked, scared, concerned, and everything in between. Neighbors say this neighborhood was fairly quiet up until now. It's kind of hard to believe. Very scared. I just called my husband to see if he could come home from work. I feel so sorry for her and for their family. Hart Street residents can't believe a homicide happened in their neighborhood. It's just so quiet. Nothing ever happens. We've lived here for, you know, three or four years now, so... Yeah, this is very disturbing. <laughs> Sheila Scripter, like other neighbors we spoke to, say 52-year-old Lisa Heinsen didn't seem to cause any trouble. I mean, she was just quiet, kept to herself, you know. So that was, that's about it. She was a very nice person. She always say hi to me every day. Charles Stevens, who lives just two down from the homicide home, is worried about the state of his neighborhood. It's getting ridiculous. I mean, it's getting closer. I mean... It happened downtown and that night's up here in my neighborhood. Police say this is the first time they've been called to Heinsen's residence for a well-being check. They say the homicide is still under investigation. Jordan, as you mentioned, police are still looking for Rowano. It's unclear why police believe he might be connected to the case. Again, they say he is believed to be armed and dangerous. So if you see him, do not approach him. You should call police immediately. And uh, you can find a photo of Rowano on our website at WLFI.com. Reporting live in Lafayette, Micah Upshaw, News 18. Thank you, Micah.